Welcome to my channel. This is A Rod OBS. Just coming to you. This is my first video on YouTube. Uh, sorry if my eyes are squinting. Sun's right here, just shining right at me. It looks like my eyes are closed, and they're not. <laughs> they're open. Just coming at you. Uh, just wanted to share with y'all. Uh, I've got a couple of trucks, as, as the title says, uh, A Rod OBS. Uh, I like Chevy GMC. OBS pickups, 88 to 98, but also Fords. I like Fords. Uh, I had an 82 years back. So, uh, you know, I, I know an 82, I'm not sure if that's considered OBS, because I know a lot of people say 87 and 96 Ford F-150s are OBS. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I like Fords, I like Dodges. Uh, I've had a couple of Dodges in the past. Uh, nothing recent. Everything that I've had recent is, is more uh, 88 to 98 Chevys. I've got a short bed that I, I wanted to show y'all. Also a 97 GMC Yukon. Uh, it's a four door. Wouldn't mind it to be a two door though. <laughs> but uh, let's get right to it anyway. This is my 1990 Chevy short bed. I've had this about 14 years. I've enjoyed this truck, it's taken me everywhere. Uh, I've driven to Wyoming with it. I've been, you know, I mean, multiple times to Wyoming. I went to, uh, I went to Wild Tech. I did go to Wild Tech for a little while. And, uh, yeah, I drove this truck over. It wasn't lowered at the time. It was actually stock height. I recently, maybe two, three months ago, I lowered the truck. It's a four and six drop. The front is a hack job. It's just cut coils. The back is legit though. It's a, it's a Belltech flip kit with the C notch, Belltech shocks. And, uh, but yeah, and the 22s that are on it, the, they rub in the front. But uh, here, probably in my next video, I'll be li lifting it back up maybe like two inches. It'll, it's gonna have that squat in the back, but that's all right. I like that. It'll be that way till I get the, the proper parts, you know. The uh, drop springs, drop spindles. But yeah. Uh, the grill has been updated. It's a, it's a newer, it's a 94 to 98 model. It had the chrome uh, early model, the flat grill style, which is in the 88s to 93s. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go back to that. I, I've been going back and forth about it, you know. If I do go back to it, I want to, I would like to go with the sport, the, the black grill. And the bumper, get a smoothie bumper, get it painted black. Uh, but yeah, this is my OBS. I love this truck. It's got the sliding rear window. Definitely needs new paint. Can't wait to, to get to it. Tail lights, Euro style tails. <laughs> That's that old school late 90s look I like it though I like it I do recently put the bumper back on I had a roll pan it was a black roll pan uh, the Chevrolet emblem on the back or not emblem but the I don't know what you call that either way I really like this look it's just got that original look to it and uh, you know it's something that I want to keep This side of the truck definitely looks better. <laughs> the paint looks a whole lot better on this side. Truck is dirty. I haven't washed it because, uh, well, I ain't had much time. I will get to it this weekend though. I'm gonna get it washed and fruit it up. But yeah, it's my OBS. I, I've had it too long. A lot of people ask me if I, I would ever sell it. Nah, I probably won't ever sell it. But yeah, let's let's check out the interior. So this is the interior. It's got that original red stitching. This is my favorite color out of all the, the, the early interiors. Headliner. Still intact. It's not sagging or anything. The, these uh, the visors you need to get both of them redone 
yeah and uh it's gotta see if it'll focus there we go sony head unit i got 110 sitting behind the seat probably like a 500 watt amp I've had it for years want to update that too that bezel i painted years back thinking i'll just probably go to an, give me an original that's not painted i don't know comment down below let me know what you think about that the bezel the grill let me know what you guys think obs fans what's y'all's opinion about that let's check out under the hood now it's not carbureted it's just a air cleaner for for a carbureted setup but it's still the tbi i want to get that, rid of that and just go back with the the original air cleaner probably works better than that thing anyway looks better that's for sure but yeah ac's not working i gotta figure that one out and i've got an overheating issue with the truck probably the radiator but yeah i've got the truck parked right now i'm not driving it i want to do some upgrades restore it yeah this is my obs my 90 1990 chevy 350. now i'm walking over to uh my 97 gmc yukon like i said it's four door i've had this one about two years this is it right here stock wheels paint peeling it's a project that's for sure it's a yukon slt it's got the leather seats I would like to get an exhaust for it. Not sure what muffler to go with. Years for years, I've gone with the Flow, Flowmaster 40 series. Uh, that's all I've really ran. I don't know. Is there anything better? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. It's got the barn door style back here. I'd like to go with the tailgate and the window in the back, the lift gate. Got a little damage right there in that corner but uh things that i've done to it i've replaced the fuel pump fuel pump some of the fuel lines here's the interior shortly after i purchased the yukon I, I got these escalade handles got them off of ebay set of four they were escalade yukon denali style uh, but yeah, this rear seat is really good. It's really decent. Cleaned it up with some leather cleaner, put some conditioner. Can't say the same for the front seats though. And things are ripped up. <laughs> Shame to show, show y'all. So I got these seat covers, Superman. But hopefully in the future I can give me a the kit with the foam, the leather. And redo these seats but yeah i haven't done much as far as the door handles as far as uh just just cleaning it up let's check out under the hood that's a 57 350 which is dirty too needs a wash ac ain't working in this one I'm thinking it's the compressor but uh, this is the truck that I daily. Takes me to work every day. Takes the family wherever we need to go. But yeah, this is my GMC Yukon. Smoothie bumper on the front. Put that not, not too long after I purchased it as well. Let me know what y'all think about the wheels. Should I strip that clear coat? I think I should probably look a whole lot better that's probably the best one best looking way off the whole truck the other ones are kind of dingy faded peeling yeah this is my Yukon this video uh, hope y'all enjoyed that enjoyed uh, 
viewing my trucks uh hope to post up more content uh videos of me uh like i said i'm, I'm gonna lift my shorty two inches in the front lower i don't know if i mentioned it but i will be lowering the yukon two inches in the front two in the back replacing the shocks uh so if you like this this video hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button as well thank y'all for watching this video